You want to make good decisions, right? So consider this. In Jeremiah chapter 41, there's this small group of Jewish survivors who just escaped the destruction of Jerusalem, who just narrowly missed an abduction attempt by the Ammonites. And after all of that, in verse 17, it says, And they went and stayed at Geruth Chimham near Bethlehem, intending to go to Egypt. Now this remnant, they had a decision to make. They could stay in Bethlehem to try to rebuild, or they could go over to Egypt in hopes to find safety. Now in chapter 42, it tells us that they went to Egypt. They made the wrong decision, and it quickly collapses. They went against God's word. They went against Jeremiah's counsel. They went against God's will for them, and they suffered dearly for that wrong choice. Now learning from their bad decision-making, here's a better biblical decision-making process. It's five steps, and the first is to pause. Proverbs 19.2 tells us, desire without knowledge is not good, and whoever makes haste with his feet misses his way. Avoid making fast decisions. But just pause. Get the facts and examine all the possible outcomes of all the options that you have in front of you. And two is read. Psalms 119.105 says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. When facing a decision, get God's take on it. See what his word has to say about it. Three is to ask. Proverbs 15.22 tells us, Without counsel, plans fail, but with many advisors, they succeed. So get advice from reliable sources. It could be a friend, a parent, or a pastor. And fourth is to yield. In Luke 22.42, it reads, Not my will, but yours be done. Jesus spoke those words to give us a principle to follow, that our will needs to yield to God's will, because God's direction is always the best direction. So pause, read, Ask, yield, and the fifth step is part of all of those steps. It's to pray. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 says, Pray without ceasing. So as you pause, pray. As you read, be praying. As you ask, pray. As you yield, pray. When you want to make the right decision, remember that acronym, PRAY. If this devotion was encouraging, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Send it off to some friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I love to read your comments down below, but that's enough of me. It's time for you to open up God's Word and get munching.